G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pirate here and welcome to a mod review. In this one I'm looking at the Tale of Kingdoms. Yes, this is a pretty damn awesome mod. I've not had a good look play around with it yet, but I've just obviously just installed it and I thought, well, I'm going to show you the basics of it and then I'm going to leave it up to you guys just to download it and just go nuts because it is unbelievable. So yeah, anyway, without any real further ado, we will crank this up, create a new world, uh, we'll call it, well, I suppose it'll be unoriginal, Tale of Kingdoms, I assume that's how you spell it, yes, these rights, game mode survival, da 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 create a new world. Alright, so let this generate, and I'll show you basically what you have to do when you first start the game. Okay. In case you're wondering, also, is the texture pack I'm using is Ovo's Rustic Texture Pack, which is pretty cool, because I thought it was quite fitting for, well, you could say, a medieval-y type scenario. Now, obviously I already have a saved game, well, saved file with this, but uh, whatever. Now, all you, get, you will get is a Start New Conquest button. When it appears, you will see there's a few seconds before it arrived. Just click on that. Now, you just wait a few seconds for it to actually clear. Now... Not far behind me, because it always actually appears behind you. Even if you had water directly behind you, it would have actually spawned over water. But right behind me is that. Yeah. Hello, wolf. This is the guild. This is the, basically the first building that actually starts, and this is from... This is basically where you actually start all your adventuring from with this mod. So we'll cruise into here. Hope that texture, uh, the gravel is not being too annoying for people, but it's being a bit trippy. Now, the first thing you want to do is, well, we can have a look around, but I won't just yet, because the first thing you actually need to do is, when you actually come to the building, you need to come along here into this into this building here, cruise up the stairs, and, sorry, go up the stairs, and then you go up the stairs again. Make your way around here. Out of the way. And you go out of the way too. Now you go up some more stairs. And now you'll come across here. This is what it'll look like. Now, essentially, in all these rooms here, they're just like, you know, bedrooms, basically. But you want to come down here, and you want to speak to this dude here. It looks like he's wearing a cape. You walk up to him, and you right-click. Because now, he gives you... Well, these are my guild. That's how much money I've got. He's none. But what you need to do is you need to sign up a contract. Oh, sign up for a contract. So, bang. Just do that first. Because now, once you've got your contract, you're now being told to basically go out and kill stuff and you can get money and all this cool stuff because now you also see down here is a path to kingship you need to fulfill that that bar will fill up as you're killing stuff and you're doing more things and all that kind of stuff within the mod when that fills out then you are actually then set to start your own kingdom which is pretty damn awesome so you have to speak to him first that's pretty much what you want to do so now that's it you can cruise around and have a look in the, each of the, uh, what's all around the place. So, as I said, all these rooms up here are just essentially bedrooms, so I'm not going to about them too much. I'll just see what they look like, though. It's just a double room, got a chest there. Nothing's actually, there is nothing in them. We'll cruise back down here. And it's just a, what's this? Oh. It's a jukebox. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. And just along here, I believe we have like a... I think I saw a gun upstairs. Yeah, it's a library. So there you go. It looks pretty cool. Pretty neat. Actually, I might just... Turn them down just a smidgen. Alright. So yeah. Cruise along here. This is walking along the, uh, the battlements here. Just a, a bit of a look at the... Uh, Around the countryside, because when we come over here, which I'm just going to jump down here, actually. Ugh. Obviously, a lot of little uh, do there for target practice, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so now we'll come around here, and this dude here is seems like a blacksmith. You probably work that out yourself. But what you can do from here is you can buy all your weapons and all this other stuff here. It's pretty cool, pretty damn cool. And, hang on a second. 
Just turn that down. Um, yeah, um, so you can buy all your like iron, wooden, stone, diamond. You get another page, and then you can also buy your chest pieces and you know, all your armor as well as your weapons. And what you can also do is you can also sell items as well. It's another way of making so any junk you might have. So I'll go with this tree actually. Da, 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 da. Break down the tree. All these star two just to show you. Then you had a heap of junk in your inventory. Click on sell item. There's a bit of wood there. Place them there, and they'll give you five gold. So it's just a way of actually just making money, basically. So you can just get a whole heap of stuff, and yeah, you just sell it. Now this dude here, he's obviously a farmer. You can tell by obviously the uh, all the wheat there. You right click on him, and he gives you a loaf of bread. That's the only one he'll give you though. He won't give you any more. He just tells you you've got your bread for now, and tells you pretty much to bugger off. <laughs> but uh, I actually grabbed this rose here because I just wanted to look at something. Oh, what's in here? Oh, empty chests. I assume they're all champ. Yeah, they're all empty. I assume they all work as all the others are. So I got these plants here. Want to make a bit of extra money? Let's cruise back over here. Speak to the uh, blacksmith. Sell this. Wow, you get 40 gold for a, for a rose. And you get 20 for a, for the uh, dandelion. Well, that's one, one thing you do to make some money if you wanted to. <laughs> just go around and just farm all this stuff. I might just grab these and give myself a bit of extra money. Let's grab that one, flog these off. And I might make myself, or see if I can buy myself like a stone sword or something. It should be pretty good. You can still craft your own stuff as well. You don't have to buy it all. But just for argument's sake, I'm just doing this just to show you. How much does an iron sword cost? Ooh, 288. Don't quite have enough. That's right. I'll just grab a stone one. It's only 18 anyway. Then all you do, obviously, is click on buy item. Done. Easy. Oh, what? How much is that? I'll grab myself. I'll grab myself all the stone gear. Just because I can. And how much is all the leather stuff? Ooh, leather cap. I can buy that. Which I won't, but just showing you the price and there for. That's pretty cool. So I'll exit out of that. There's all my gear in my inventory now, so that's pretty sweet. Let's move them into my usual spots. So usually something like that anyway, who cares? So now I'll go back into here because I wanted to show you also with this room here that I first went through. That's just like a well, just so you can actually see in a little pool. So I'll go back into here. These guys are spazzing out, but... Ah, there was a zombie in here, apparently. Now this guy here, you right-click on him to talk to him. He's a city builder. Once you actually obtain the rank of being able to... Well, like when I spoke to the uh, guild master, you know, once you actually feel that thing to be able then to start your own kingdom, you come and then talk to this dude here, and he will then go and help you build your own city. Which is kind of neat. And this dude here is kind of like the innkeeper, as you can see. Time flies when you rest. Now you can either go rest in a room, you can wait till night time, or you just exit back out of the game. I'm going to just wait for night time. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we'll get out of there. And hopefully it is now night time. Yep. So now we can cruise back outside. And with a bit of luck, it's not going to be too damn. Actually, I might just... Right, that's right. I'll just crank it right up anyway. So now, we should be able to get some more stuff. And you'll also find some of the guards and that that are outside as well. I don't have any torches, so I'm not going to go too far. I'll also make the uh, recording a bit too dark. Probably you may, you may not see much, but... Uh, just want to show you what happens when you actually do kill a mob. Since I know these roses you give you 40 gold, I'm going to steal a heap of them. That's insane. <laughs> eh, break. What have we got? We've got a pig. Oh, and look at that. We've actually got a village right there too. Well, that's kind of neat. <clears throat> Thanks, piggy. Yeah, right. well, I'm not going about the Endermen too much, as long as I don't look at them, I'm safe from them. So where's that zombie going? Come here. So I'll 
show you what they do when you see there you go he drops a whole heap of stuff they're coins which is pretty awesome so you just cruise around just keep killing stuff and yeah uh. get away cow yeah <laughs> awesome so yeah you just keep killing stuff keep making money and that's it it's pretty next actually getting all those uh holy crap they will spawn now typical thank you spider needed some extra money kill him oh shit <laughs> way too many creepers to have to deal with Yeah, off. Get out of it. All right. Handle like a pro. <laughs> or some such. So there you go. That's heaps and heaps of money I've got then. So I can cruise back into the town. I'll cruise back into the guild now. And the other thing you do too, you just press the uh, uh, E key and it tells you how many coins you got. It's got 385 there. Bugger off, spider. Ugh, nice little coins. That's awesome. So yeah, you just keep building, you just keep looting stuff, you just keep fighting, you're getting experience. And I'll cruise back up to the Guildmasters to show you the fact is that, uh, I suppose I can't sprint, can't I? Duh. Just to show you uh, that uh, your stats are increasing. Up the stairs we go. Yeah, no, go that way. That's it. Get off the stairs, coming through. Okay, here he is, just down here. There you go, so now it's starting to fill out. It's going to take a while, obviously, but um, yeah, once you uh, fill that out, that's then when you, that's your path to your kingship, and then you can go set up your own, uh, your own kingdom, which is, as I mentioned before. And you can also hire hunters from this guy, which obviously costs about 1,500 gold, which I don't have. Would tell me to not enough gold <laughs> but yeah you just get people that um, can follow you around and help you fight and so forth and the npcs if well if if you're actually out fighting the npcs kill something they don't take your money you can still pick that up so it's kind of neat so yeah that's it like that's a basic overview of it now essentially it's what you gotta do you just gotta keep playing it keep getting resources uh keep selling stuff and keep fighting and you will become the king and you can set up your own um, your own kingdom so that's the whole point of the, that's basically a, an overview of the mod and I'll just quickly cruise back over here and uh, eat my bit of bread nom 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 sell this junk that I've got and what do we got does he sell pork chop ah oh, pork chop uh, some things he won't actually buy off you though like dirt he won't gunpowder yep he buys gunpowder that's cool string yeah I assume you probably would wow Rotten flesh, some more roses, some flowers. I don't think he's no, he doesn't buy seeds either. So, like seeds, gunpowder. I think ink sacks actually was another one I don't think he sells that I actually noticed. But there's probably plenty of other things as well that he uh, won't buy off you. So, yeah, there you go. There's 1300 gold that I've got, so I can keep buying more stuff and keep advancing my uh, career and so forth and become king and become the king of my own world. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is an overview of the mod. Um, go check it out. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's made by Tiber Alex, and it is insane. So, you get, actually, probably one more thing I should also mention is that the there are when you think you actually build your own, start building your own actual world, you can do. There's like four tiers. So obviously, I'm on like tier one at the moment. Where I'm just well. So if I when I get to actually build my first part or first part of the castle or whatever kingdom i should say that is like your t1 then you get like t2 and you can get up to there is up to four tiers but at the moment there's only the first two are in the game at the moment the second two are currently being worked on so you can end up with a really 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 big kingdom anyway that's it as i said before i'm done um go check out the mod it's insane it is brilliant and yeah that's it so Oh, great it would start raining <laughs> but anyway that's it um like subscribe all that awesome stuff and as always keep cool keep safe and i'll catch you around goodbye